Chon Menachem Mendel Weinbach was an Orthodox Jewish rabbi and one of the fathers of the modern day Baal Tishuva movement in his capacity as co founder and dean of Osameach Institutions, a Jerusalem based educational network for young, non Hasidic Jewish men. From the yeshiva's founding in 1970 until his death in 2012, Weinbach taught, mentored, and advised generations of students, helping beginners master a high level of textual learning skills and embrace an orthodox Jewish lifestyle. He was a father figure to thousands, investing much time in guiding his students both during their yeshiva years, and after they married, and actively participated in the brisim, and bar mitzvahs of their children. Wayne Buck was an erudite Torah scholar and an eloquent speaker for both men's and women's groups in Israel and abroad. He wrote and edited over a dozen English-language books, and penned many newspaper, magazine and online articles on Jewish thought and practice. Chon Menachem Mendel Weinbach was born in Kanchuga, Galicia, to Yerches Kol Shraga and Chesi Janendel Weinbach. At the age of four he immigrated with his parents to America and settled in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where he grew up. At age 12 he left home, to learn in Yeshiva Torah of others, where he studied under Rabbi Yarkov Kamenetsky and Rabbi Judalia Shaw, and became friends with Rabbi Nossin Sherman and Rabbi Nissen Wolpin, who would go on to make their own impact on Orthodox Jewish education. He received rabbinic coordination at Torah of others. In 1953 Wayne Bach was one of ten Torah of others students recruited by Rabbi Simcha Wasserman to open a Bice Medrash in Los Angeles as part of a plan to interest parents in Wasserman's proposal to open a massive to high school in that city. At the end of the summer, he went to study at Bice Medrash Elian in Monsey, New York. In 1960 he married Sylvie Lem, a Belgian war orphan who had come to New York at the age of five. She and her parents, Abraham Israel and Rachel Lam, had been interned in the Mechelen Transit Camp in 1942. She had been liberated on 13 January 1944, and sent to a Jewish orphanage. Her parents were deported to Auschwitz two days later. She was raised by her uncle and aunt in New York City. In 1962 the couple decided to make a lead to Israel, becoming one of the first American Orthodox Jewish families to do so. They were one of the first families to settle in the new neighborhood of Geyut Matersdorf in northern Jerusalem, where they raised their twelve children. In his early years in Israel, Wayne Buck studied in the Mir Yeshiva, and opened a kollel. He also established yeshivas in Givritarda and Netanya, and became involved with American Pedlam, which was opening yeshivas and Talmatoras for new immigrants. He was a member of a group of Avrichim from the Mir, Brisk, Hebron and other yeshivas who volunteered to study with new immigrants who didn't fit into regular Israeli yeshivas. Around 1965 Wayne Buck decided to open a yeshiva for Bailey Teshuva together with Rabbi Meir Schuster. Rabbis in the yeshiva, located in the Telpiat neighborhood of Jerusalem, included Rabbi Shimsh and David Pincus and Rabbi Yiel Schwartz. The yeshiva was forced to close due to the Six Day War in 1967. Rabbi Nota Schiller, co founder and Rosh Yeshiva of Yeshiva Zatsamayach. In 1972, Wayne Buck and Rabbis Nota Schiller, Noah Wayne Berg, and Barich Rosenberg established Shima Yisrael Yeshiva to attract young, English speaking Jewish men with little or no background in Jewish studies. After a few years, Wayne Berg left the yeshiva over a difference in philosophy, and founded Ash Hatara in 1974. Shima Yisrael subsequently changed its name to Osameach, in response to critics who contended that the name Shima Yisrael belonged to the entire Jewish people, not just one institution. Wayne Buck and Schiller continued on as Rosh Yeshivas, developing the program into a high-level Talmud study program with the goal of helping formerly secular Jewish students integrate into mainstream Orthodox Jewish communities. Other Torah scholars invited to serve as Rosh Yeshivas over the years included Rabbi Dov Schwartzman and Rabbi Aharon Feldman, 